So who's out there? Yasmin. Yeah, listen to this. Is this, this is, the new girl? This is the new girl from Baywatch. She's pretty awesome. She's the br- the new girl, the brunette. Just bring her in here. Just don't even have a chair for her. Tell her she has to sit on my lap oh. to do the whole interview. That's how all, all, all guests do it. You know what? You're getting very close to being <laughs> a dirty old man. terribly obnoxious now. <laughs> just don't have a chair. Just say, hey, if you want to do an interview, you got to sit here. What's she wearing? All the guests sit in Howard's lap. She's wearing pants and stuff, but she Ugh. looks good. Why don't you just go tell her to cut her pants off? <laughs> Why can't she just come in panties and a bra? <laughs> <laughs> Why can't all the guests come down to... The- Why can't you calm down? You have a wife. That's supposed to be your sexual outlet. <laughs> yeah, That's good. getting obnoxious now. Every girl's tied up. Every girl's beaten. What we is re- wrong with we really you? I didn't beat anyone. I dragged them by their hair. Yeah, same difference. Like, that's fun. No, Post up new rules outside the uh, studio. that You have to, you have to s- slip out of your pants before you come in. You know where this whole thing got nuts. Robin's right. We've really gone from like one level to a whole new level. I think mm. we got crazy after we auditioned all those girls for the New Year's Eve special. Yeah. Because so many people came in here doing whatever we wanted. I don't know if that was the point. I went crazy. <laughs> I think he went crazy at birth. But it's getting worse. Just hang this sign on the door. Bra and panties only. Like this. <laughs> just like that. And then. And I want to see you in them. Get in your bra and panties. Because some people just do whatever they read. Yeah. Yeah, she's hot, huh? Yasmin yeah, Bleef. Very pretty. Yasmin Bleef. Yeah. Yasmin Bleef. Yasmin Bleef. Is that a real name? Yeah. Yasmin. <laughs> Why don't you wheel in the gynecologist's table? And we'll do the, uh, I'll say that I have to check her for cancer. Why don't I go see if she's still in the green room? <laughs> she's there. She loves me. Get check her for a cancer. Yeah. <laughs> I have to do the pap smear. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, <laughs> if you had a pap smear, wouldn't that be great if you wheeled in a table? You know what we should do? What? Every TV show does this, and it's completely legal. We should teach other women how to check themselves for breast cancer. Yeah, let's teach her how to, Robin, you know how to do it. You know what? what? There's a, a new chart out now, and you could use Jasmine <laughs> yeah. to uh, demonstrate. I'll, I'm going to demonstrate to women, because this is on TV also. I'm going to teach women how to check themselves for breast cancer. <laughs> and Yasmin will help me. And that's something we'll do as a public service. It's on Lifetime at least once a week. How old is she, Yasmin? Yasmin Bleeth. Mm, she was. She covered up uh, on, on her little release form. She covered up her birthday, so I have to go take a look. Yeah, go take a look. Let's say 21. Mm. Yeah. 21. Yeah, fresh mm. lettuce. Yasmin. Fresh lettuce. <laughs> All right, we'll take a break. And Bunch then we'll meet dirty old men. We'll meet Yasmin Bleeth. <laughs> right. Ruling over young girls. Yasmin. <laughs> well, you won't give us anything. Bleeth. I heard that. Panties and a bra. I, you know, it was. It was between my Calvin Klein suit or panties and a bra. I couldn't decide. It was a toss up this morning. <laughs> I guess we lost. So you excited to be here? I was until the panties and the bra sitting on my lap comments. <laughs> I'm ready. Bring in Yas- Yasmin Bleeth. She's, ha- she's corrected us. Yasmin? Yasmin. Yasmin? She must be some kind of Persian or something, which is Iranian. Mm. When Iranians come to this country, they call themselves Persian. Hey, wouldn't you? So, yeah, so, so we don't know. <laughs> Everyone's going, man, she's really hot. Oh, which is good God, for her I'm because I'll tell you something. I had the, this Nicole Eggert on my show. She was oh. the girl on Baywatch before Yasmin. Yes. And she, girl. these girls go nuts. They start to think that they're okay. big stars. They can walk away from Baywatch. Well, I even hear Pamela Sue Anderson now. No, saying, yeah. Well, she doesn't oh, want to talk about Hold her. it, Robin. One second, uh, please. Let I me soak you in. I you with speech. Oh, yeah. That's what I need. I need you. Do. I need to marry you today. Give Aren't the girl a chair. Her? What? Aren't you married? No. As a matter of fact, my wife died of cancer. God, oh, she God did. rest her soul. Yeah. That's very unfortunate. I'm she sorry. died of um, brain cancer. Mm. She died yesterday. Okay. And you're ready just to move on now. Well, I have to date. Yeah, I have children. I need a mother today? for my children. <laughs> and you're it. <laughs> Here, take a seat. Let me just wait. Let me look at you and then take a seat. Man, what a body. Why are you wearing pants? Why don't you just wear a jacket with no pants? Because I'm going for the sophisticated look. I'm yeah, playing well, against type. No, everyone's sick of the sophisticated look. <laughs> everyone just wants to see <laughs> you. Oh, it works. Look is That's out. right. Everyone thinks they're Catherine Hepburn now. No. Why is it a beautiful woman can... I mean, you're a good actress. Just, just sit, here, sit down. <laughs> she, she uses her body to make money. She doesn't have to come in here and show it to you. Why? Maybe I'll put her in my movie. You know what? I want you to play my wife in my movie. You do? I certainly do. And That's it's a major motion picture. Blonde. Absolutely. Well, you know what? On my that, wife is not a blonde. On that topic, <laughs> the casting directors of Baywatch, Fern and Susie, would like to cast your new movie. They told me they said they have excellent taste. No, AV is casting my movie. They oh. hired, my, my studio already hired a casting person. I just handed in the script yesterday. They've already hired a casting person. How okay. do they do that? I don't know. Sorry, Fern and Susie, I tried. AV's doing it. 
I want you to audition. Now, here. Now, if you're my wife, we have a scene where you kiss me and you hug me a lot. <laughs> you see that poster behind you? That's the, the part right there. Yeah, okay. that's you. That actually looks like me a little bit. That does look like it you. It does. Yeah. That is the poster for my movie. It's in my paperback, actually. <laughs> and that is the final scene of the movie, Okay. as a matter of fact. Well, look I'll be that. there. I'll be there. You tell me the time. Let me there. tell you something. It would serve your career very well. I know. So your name is Yasmin? Yasmin. What are you, Persian? I'm not Persian. Um, I hey, get close to that microphone. I don't want to miss oh. a minute of your voice. Okay. I want to learn everything I can about you. <laughs> My mom was born in Algeria, but she was French uh, from North Africa. So um, Yasmin. Yasmin. Yeah. Yasmin. Mean Bleef is a real name. It yeah, is. yeah. No one would say the name Bleef. I know Bleef with Yasmin. It doesn't quite go, but I didn't change it. It goes. I'll remember it. <laughs> oh, so how did you wind up on Baywatch? <laughs> Take a look at her. Okay. No, I. How did they find her? You know, she just wasn't standing there at the door. No. Um, I auditioned last year for a uh, guest spot. Right. And I got the role, and then uh, it turned out that Nicole, who you were just talking about, she was leaving. She Let me explain to me. something to you, okay. and so you understand this as well. This is Nicole. I met her. Mm -hmm. Personally, I think she's a little bit weird. Uh, <laughs> now, let me just say this. First of all, you, you are going on Baywatch because she is so misguided. She's going to leave. She's popular. She was. She is more popular than she's ever been. And more people know her name I, than they ever have. I agree. I don't. I don't understand her reasoning, but I don't know. Let her, me tell you so. something. Well, thank God, because now you have the Baywatch That's job. That's true. Thank you, Nicole. Nicole uh, decided now she's going to be an actress somewhere. She was I acting on Baywatch. She, she got breast implants. Yes. Then got angry at the breast implants. Yeah, she got and angry. Took them out. I know. That's a weird. Thing Isn't that too. weird? That's very strange. That's very strange. I know. Her breast implants were beautiful. <laughs> they were the <laughs> they most. Worked. They were beautiful. Nobody forced her to get them. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Round of applause. She felt. She couldn't be a serious actress with the breast implants. <laughs> that never stopped anybody else. No, it didn't. <laughs> and I'm telling you that this girl should have stayed with this show, Baywatch, milked it for all it was worth, and gone hiatus. Go do movies because of your new fame and everything sure, else. Uh, exactly. We only shoot six months out of the year. We have six months off. To six pursue months anything. to pursue anything. Do it. Go for it. She was becoming a very big star. Mm -hmm. Now she's sitting around, I guess. I don't know. Is she sitting around? I really don't know. You don't know. I don't know. But you were going to stick with the show. I just started. I'm having a great time, and I don't see any reason You're why. sure you're not going to change your tune? And you have no problem uh, being in a bathing suit? No. You enjoy being in a bikini? Well, you know what? I haven't worn a bikini yet. I wore really? just the one piece. Wear a so bikini. Far. All right, next time for you, I'll wear would you a ever, Would you ever wear a thong? A thong? Yeah. No, you know what? I'm not a big thong lover. No? No, I don't think they're too mm. attractive. I'd love to get you in the sack. <laughs> oh, man. I don't All know right, what that here would be we like. Go. I've been here three minutes. minutes. <laughs> you were just saying that to Juliet Lewis. <laughs> yeah, Juliet Lewis is a boy compared to Yasmin. <laughs> now, you're a very attractive so girl. Typical. Obviously, you know that. What, in high school, everyone was after you, and uh, you're used to having guys fall all over you, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, why did you cover yeah, yeah. up your birth date on the. Uh... She didn't want anyone to know how old she is. You know, professional. She wants secrets. to play young. I know. I play 21 on the show. Right. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. and now, how long have you been in Hollywood? In Hollywood, just 34 years. Oh, <laughs> <an hour? laughs> Season veteran. <laughs> Go ahead. Now you were on the soap operas, right? I was. Oh, you for, were. Uh, okay. Seven years total. Ryan's hoping one life to live. Now someone told me you uh, you got on the soap opera because you were on the Psychic Friends Network or something. That's wrong. What? Tell me about that. What is you, what is this with the Psychic Friends Sloan, Network? Sloan, you were supposed to save me. That's my publicist. Yes. Well, forget him. You were on the <laughs> Psychic Friends Network. Yeah. You were with Dion Warwick. Soaps with Dion. Yes, I was. So what happened? You did the infomercial Psychic I did the Friends. Info yeah, and for I just got paid to do it. Just but to you don't money. believe in, in uh, psychics, do you? Actually, no. I didn't think so. Not at all. But did right. you get a reading on the show? And you uh, Not on the show. We did call the psychic our personal psychic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dion's really wacky with that. I think she really believes it. I think she does, too. I, she does. Um, but Sad. <laughs> I just did it. I sold out. You know, it was great money for a But that's few not years. selling out. It's okay. You mean you went on there, and what do you well, have to do? I didn't be do testimonials. That, well, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, maybe you did sell out. I didn't say anything that wasn't true. But what did you have to say? I just I went on with my boyfriend. Right. Who's your uh, boyfriend? Oh, here we go. Uh, he's an actor. His name's Ricky Paul Golden. He's starring in Greece right now on Ricky Broadway. Ricky Paul Golden? Oh, I yes. never heard of him. Wait a minute. I just saw Greece. Which he's one? nothing. Danny Zuko. Oh, he's gorgeous. I know. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> Sorry, no. Howard. Yeah, well, I have a personality. You could tell Danny Zuko <laughs> that, uh, <laughs> that unlike him, I have a personality. Maybe girls would find that entertaining after the after the shallowness of looks exactly. wears off. After he starts to lose his hair. I could never get sick of you. Really? I would worship you. You see, a good-looking mm -hmm. guy doesn't worship you. 
A good-looking guy doesn't worship you. He he worships himself. Well, you what know, I, I would have do. To, I have to disagree. I would consider. Okay. Oh, okay, we'll see if if uh, in five years he's still with you. Okay. You see if he doesn't dump you. I'll come knocking, Howard. <laughs> no, you wait and see. Oh, then it's gonna be too late. <laughs> I offered you a date right now. <laughs> you know he's gonna get swept up quickly. So what's his job, this guy? He has to act attracted to Rosie O'Donnell. Boy, he is a good actor. <laughs> I gotta tell oh, you. Rosie, she's not sorry. his love interest. No, what are you? Are you, a, are you a goody two shoes, or you like to have some fun? Me? Yeah. What do I look like to you? You look like you're a uh, goody two shoes, but I think like maybe underneath. You like to have some fun. Sometimes. You get high at all? <laughs> you get high? <laughs> you like to smoke a little reefer? Absolutely oh. not. Really? Really. You never got high in your life? <clears throat> like um, I can't, you know, I can't answer that. My really? grandmother's listening this Oh, your morning. who's listening? Your grandmother? I know. Hi, Nanny. Hey, Nanny, Nanny. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Grandma, you like to smoke crack? Oh. Ever do white crosses, lewds, hash, LSD? I don't even know what you're talking really? about. Really? You don't yes. get into that kind of stuff? No, so you I'm don't party kidding. at all? I party. Do you like to drink a little? A little. Get out of your mind yeah, a little bit? Yeah, Baywatch girls have a reputation. I know. Did you guys see that hard copy, the bad girls? You're going to go to those clubs? <laughs> Are you going to go to those clubs? you got to be at the Viper Room every night. Are you going to go to the Viper Room and die in front of the Viper Room? <laughs> only, <laughs> only if Johnny will come save me. Do you ever date any famous guys? That's, I... You have? Um, really? Yes. Who'd you go out with? Who did I go out yeah. with? Yeah, who'd you go I... out with? What's the big deal? You dated a guy. I'm not asking you what you did with him. I'm just asking, <laughs> who are you, who are your boyfriend? Who did you used to date? I dated a few people. Jack Nicholson? Yeah, I've been out with Jack. I've had his baby. No, come on, really. Who did you date? <laughs> who, who are your boyfriends? I'm curious. I want to know everything about Yasmin Bleeth. Oh, Leslie, come save me. You ever go out with Adam West? Oh. Adam West, Batman? Yeah. <laughs> Someone told me you were linked to him romantically. <laughs> <laughs> Well, come on, who should we say? Who are you? Who are your who, like? TV what crowd? or movies? Okay, TV. TV's Grizzly Adams. <laughs> <laughs> who are you with? Flipper. How did you know? What? No, come on, who are you with? Seriously, who was your boyfriend? There's nothing wrong with saying it. Yeah, because Let's I'm see. not supposed to talk about this. You what? Because you dated someone? But you Howard, didn't have sex with them. I'm just asking who you dated Howard, with. Howard, this was your job. You were supposed to research me. It was been. No, in come the on, tabloids. tell me. No, I don't. Come on, tell me. I can't. I don't say. read tabloids. I'm one of the few celebrities that doesn't. No. MacGyver. No. Were you with the TV's MacGyver? <laughs> no. Were you with Bob Barker? For several what, years. What are you linking me with these elderly gentlemen? I don't for? know. I'm asking oh, you who you are. Is it a young guy? I'll tell you. I go for younger men. Or who is it? Younger. Rob Lowe. Rob Lowe, please. Who, He's all. Who is it, Gary? Got the list. All right. Who is it? Oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> What's the list? Okay. Luke Perry. Ah! Wait a second. Wait. Well, go slow. Go. Go slow. Go slow. Don't go. Wait. Wait a second. One at Luke, a time. Luke Perry. Oh my God. How's he in the sack? <laughs> I can't answer this. I know Luke. You do? Um, but you, you just go for good luck. Well, Luke was on soap opera, so you probably met him there, right? Uh, yes, I did. And what, did you go out with him for a long time? Mm, yes, a relatively long time. You oh. moved in with him? <laughs> uh, <laughs> did I? D vaguely. Really? <laughs> yes. But he didn't deliver you the goods? In other words, he didn't satisfy you sexually? We, let's just say we were both too young. <laughs> so you moved out on him, or he dumped you? What do you think? He huh? dumped. I think you dumped him. There you go! All right, next. Come here and kiss me now, and I'll show you how a real man has sex. Okay. And who's next on the list? <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, 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 big film star, Christian Slater. Oh, that's wrong. That's really? a complete lie. Oh, yeah? You that care to take a lie, lie detector? <laughs> yes, I will. Okay, I will and who is Grant Show? Oh, oh, oh Grant Show is a real good-looking guy. Oh, the two of you must have made a handsome couple. We were. We were the best-looking couple on the Grant block. Grant Show is the guy who is on Melrose Place, that blonde, that big, dumb, blonde yeah, guy. the other guy. Big dummy. Big, empty-headed nut. <laughs> How stupid is he on a scale of one to ten? <laughs> is he the Vanna White of actors? <laughs> no. <laughs> Does he have a big empty head? He's like, uh, Why are you so angry at Grant? Grant, want to make love? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Did Luke get mad when he started losing his hair? <laughs> Luke is losing his hair? I don't know. I always say, I don't know. He flipped his hair back on Beverly Hills 90210 last night, and I don't know. It looked like some hair. He's always had that hair. I, he line. does? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, he's a good guy. I like, I like Luke. He's in my movie. I wrote him apart. Did you? You wrote everybody apart. You're asking me to be in your movie. He's in your movie. What's up? Well, I just got a lot of people in mind for this movie. Okay. It's a lot of cameos. So you went out with Grant Show, and what happened? Now you he probably dumped you. Absolutely. Well, you know, I don't remember. We were we were. It was a long time ago. How long did you live with him? No, every good-looking guy. It's always got to be good-looking guys. Don't go out with ugly guys like me. I don't know, Howard. You said in five years. Yeah. Can't believe it. But the thing is, it's true. You wouldn't be interested in five years. See, that's the sad thing. No, I'm not interested in your personality. I like, I mean, you're a very nice woman, but he, I like what He's I like, vapid, too. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm a big, empty guy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't go for a woman's personality. I'm a body man. I, I like, understand that. I like face and body the best. 
Well, there you go. Maybe we would get imagine bringing after hard, all. Imagine bringing Yasmin to parties. Oh, not to parties. It's a family of oh. <laughs> uh, Dad, this is Yasmin. Oh, yes, I'm, I'm on the new Baywatch. <laughs> yeah, uh, Yasmin, you want to go swimming? Yeah. Oh, I'd love to take you to a party, a swim Can party. I just tell you that families happen to love me. I do good with moms. Oh, I'm sure you do. You know, because that nice girl thing comes out. Yeah, and then when you get into your bathing suit and we go home and we have to swim, relax <laughs> in the pool. Grease up. Do, oh. do, the, do the first God. unit oil, as they say. I could see why they hired you. When you, when you, when you went for your audition for Baywatch, they get you in a bathing suit? No, sir. Really? Uh, what really? was the audition? That'd be funny. Like then she got then the first day on the beach, she gets she gets on Baywatch. Yeah, and I have cellulite and I weigh four hundred. And like yeah, and like yeah, like she just had her she breasts removed. Terrible. You know what I mean? Like she just went through uh, <laughs> breast cancer. Or you know, like, oh. wait a second, what is this? I know. I probably wow. Tired. But she probably had photos, didn't you? No. Th- well, they, as I was saying before, before we got sidetracked, I don't know how that yeah, happened. Yeah, yeah. Um, I auditioned for a guest spot last year, and they, uh, no bathing suit. It was a dramatic, it was a dramatic okay. part. Yeah, with David Hasselhoff, how to drill through the sand with his head. <laughs> <laughs> or did he save your life? <laughs> yeah, David's uh, quite the actor. With uh, open heart surgery <laughs> on the back of a boat. David actually is a very good actor. Very Hello, good. Yasmin. Yeah, he is a good actor. That was an excellent episode. When I, I, I'm a big Baywatch fan. I so. heard you were going to do a guest spot. That was the rumor. Nah, I don't want. They asked me to, but I don't want to. Unless yeah. I get to make love to you in it. Okay, we'll see if we can. I'll do that. a love scene with you. You will. Yeah. Well, thank you. Usually people request Pamela Anderson, so I'm, I'm glad. No, I would do it with I you. Mean, you mean people call up and say I'd like to do no, Baywatch, well, but I want to do a I'll love scene truth. with Pamela? Geraldo just did a guest spot on our show. Right. And he requested. He said, "All right, but Pamela has to save me." So I was very hurt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, Pamela's no, hot and everything, but yeah, Pam- Pamela beautiful. looks like someone who's been around Hollywood a little too long. Geraldo hasn't changed though. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he claims to have done this great change. It's really funny too, because they always have like David Hasselhoff has these fantasies where he. He is always this big guy. Like he's a lifeguard. He's a big right. dumb lifeguard. Yeah. But in, but but he's on boats and he's doing surgery on people. Yeah. This year he does uh, brain surgery with a popsicle stick. <laughs> he finds on the beach. You know, he's like, oh good, I saved you. <laughs> yeah. All I had was this popsicle stick, but the tumor's gone. <laughs> oh, unbelievable. It'd be amazing what they find at the beach. Yeah. So you're excited about this. I You've am. got lips on you. Man, I'd like to do stuff to those lips. <gasps> I'd like to do some sick things to you. Sick things. I really okay. would. All do right. you ever think about the fact that your daughters are going to be young women one day and no. some guy's going to be looking at I them? Never, I never Ooh, think about those it. those lips. I never think about it. <laughs> never think about my daughters as girls. <laughs> yeah, I'm just, just saying, you know, they, they, you're just... Just wait till, till you hear some guy doing what you're doing to me yeah. them. You're really? always telling yeah. me I'll you know them. guys know. and all guys are the same, so somebody's going to be doing this to your daughter. I'll tell you what. Let me go nuts until that day, <laughs> all right? And then when that day comes, I'll be a different guy. I can reinvent myself. Unbelievable. Do you have to shave for the, um, for the show? Absolutely. So you're completely clean shaven? Not compl- I, I just do the bottom part of my legs. No, I don't mean your legs. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't. I don't get this. I don't know. I don't know. I just got to think about you, man. And what's this guy you've been with? How long is he dating you? Uh, we've been going out for three. years. But now you're in Los Angeles and he's here. I know it's difficult. So you can date other guys. You don't have an exclusive relationship. Of course we have. An Will you be dating Seinfeld? TV Seinfeld? I don't know. I have to get Shoshana out of there. Yeah, I think you'd have no problem doing that <laughs> once he gets a look at you. Anyway, so the new show, of course, is Baywatch. Yes. Soaps are done with, thank God. Yes, they're done no, with. No, it's a horror my, scene. No, no, no. My, yes. They were my stomping ground. Well, but, uh, but thank God you're not stomping anymore. Okay. And you're, you're in that. Right. And uh, any other plans besides uh, Baywatch? Um, I did a movie in February, a film called Ghosts May Kiss. Uh, Who wrote that? Uh, an Italian uh, writer and director named Mauro Borelli. He wrote it in English? He wrote it in Italian, actually. All right, go ahead. Yes, and you did that film. Yeah, I played an 18th century ghost. So, oh, really? Yeah. Any nude scenes? No nude scenes. Nude ghost. But I have to say, my, my breasts were pushed up to my chin. You know that. You're not wearing a bra, are you? <laughs> Look I, at that. No. Oh, yes, you are. Now I see it. I am. Oh, man. Oh. Are those real? Oh, it's looking down my. Are oh. they real? Yeah. Now is America. America always wants to know this. Yes, actually, they are. <sighs> they are. <laughs> Another round of applause. Standing ovation. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Because Nicole's were fake. She just got a regular applause. Right, right. A standing ovation. <laughs> and this film you're in, I understand Carol Alt directed it. Is that right? The model? Supermodel? <laughs> No. <laughs> You're hot, Where do believe you get me. your information? I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get information. Actually, um, one of the co-stars is um, Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. He can act? He can act. Oh, I didn't know that. He's quite good. He's quite good? Yeah. Did you get it on with him? Yeah, absolutely. You did? I get it on with all my co-stars. Another one! I just know how to milk it. Oh. Can we hug goodbye? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. We can, really? Of it's okay. I, it wouldn't be the same if we didn't. You wearing underwear? 
I'm not going to say. I don't all right, well, I'll, I'll, so all the girls get along on Baywatch? No. They all hate Pamela. So Pamela is Sue Anderson right? now is going through the Nicole Eggert thing. Why yeah. does I read about call this. Pamela Pamela Sue Anderson? That was the girl in Little House on the Prairie. Oh, so who is she? Pamela, who is? Pamela Anderson is her right. name. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Pamela Anderson is um, getting like a big ego. Yeah. And she's starting to think of leaving the show. Is that right? She, she's another I one. I've heard her That's complaining about all the attention to her body. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine? Well, that is just but, ridiculous. Is she out of it or what? No, she has a beautiful body, and believe me, she likes to show her body. Yeah, obviously. And if you had a body like that, you'd be. You're, you're damn yeah. right. <laughs> oh, yeah. And what's your story? She likes to party a lot and go to those clubs and get in trouble? I don't. I think maybe that was in the past. You like to go to clubs? I do every once in a while. Yeah. I like to go dancing. You like to dance? Yeah, I love to dance. What do guys do when you walk in the club? They, you should see. It's like it's like the parting of the Red Sea. Oh, they just, yeah. man. <laughs> wow. Imagine being that beautiful. Oh, man. Well, you know who Pamela is dating now? Okay. Who, who's Jackie Pamela? Jackie Mollo. <laughs> <laughs> who's Pamela dating? Isn't that, She's dating that guy from Poison, the lead singer. Oh, oh Brett that? Michaels? You yeah. actually got that right. I was I was, gonna, I was surprised. She, she Why doesn't she get someone who's hot? You know, someone who's got a career going on. You know now. those girls. Good-looking girls like rock stars. And... Oh, I don't know. No, I've never dated a rock star, Harry. No? No. I can't even talk to you. I'm too hypnotized by your beauty. Seriously, <laughs> you're too beautiful. I don't know what that's like. Why don't you just cover your eyes then? Yeah, can I interview you blindfolded? blindfolded. That'd be good. All right, okay. This is much easier, okay? Did Luke Perry take your virginity, yes yeah. or no? No. No? No. Who was it, some guy in your high school? Yes. No kidding. No oh, he kidding. must have hit the jackpot. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. Was it good? I don't remember, Howard. Oh, you remember that. No, I don't. It was too far back. You get into anything weird in the sack, or are you just pretty much missionary position? <laughs> when I was 16 years old, yeah. you're asking me? Did you, have you ever have it with two guys at the same time? You know. I think that's a yes. <laughs> Did you? Don't ever no. hesitate on a question like that. If the answer is no, say it right away. Come on, I got I my... Just, I'm in shock. I, I have my... This is my first, this is first an interview. time. I understand. This is an interview. I have to ask you questions. Okay, Regis and Kathy Lee never asked Oh, Regis this. and Kathy Lee are two nitwits. <laughs> you don't have any good questions. They're too busy with themselves. Yeah, they're too busy concerned with themselves and Cody. <laughs> Cody and what's the other one? Cassidy. Yeah, whatever. Okay. They don't even mention poor Cassidy. <laughs> yeah. I'm so glad Kathy Lee's looks are starting to fade mm. and she's getting real kind of no, ugly. Looks, she looks good. <laughs> Since she cut her hair, she looks really good. No, she does have a hair problem. She, she sure does. Good. She looks good. You, have you ever had sex with another girl? No. You would never consider that? No. If a, what if a movie called for it? A movie called for it? Yes. Lesbianism. Well, they're not going to show the actual sex like a kiss? No. They're kissing. Would yeah, you ever kiss I another girl on screen? Sure. You would? Yeah, I'm an actress. While you're naked. No, you didn't say that. Would you ever do Playboy? No. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. You look like you're about to cry, Howard. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end the interview then. <laughs> <laughs> so the guy who had sex with you first? Yes. Did he, did he break up with you better? No. He you broke up with him? I, you know, it was a high school thing. We just, we grew apart. Is he in a local bar right now, like... Banging his head against the wall, drunk. I don't know. I did it first. I, I do not know. I did it first. <laughs> you see how I did it first? That's my girl. I could have married that girl. I did it. The one on TV. That's TV's Yasmin Belief. <laughs> she, was, she was Yasmin when I did her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That was good. Where did it happen? In a car? No. Do I look like the kind of girl to do it in a car? That's precisely why you would. You've never done it in a car. I actually haven't. I grew up in New York City. Oh, if Nobody you were my girl, car. if you were my girl, you'd okay. be doing it in cars. <laughs> He'd have brought a car. Yeah, because I can't bring you home. My wife will kill me. <laughs> Ever do it on the beach? Your wife? You just told me your wife was dead. Howard. She's uh, technically. I she's see. technically well, brain dead. Okay. Since she died yeah. yesterday, yeah. he hasn't gotten used to it. Yeah, it's day. not easy to talk about. Okay. <laughs> you ever have sex on the beach? Yes, I have, and oh, that's yeah. incredible. You you were naked on a beach. Yeah, in an on an island called St. Bart's. Oh. That was nice. Freddie's shaking his head like he was there. <laughs> yeah, Fred, Fred, what are you shaking your head about? She's not interested in you. you. No, because I've done that. But not Oh, you've her. done that? Not with her. Yeah. <laughs> you've done it with yourself on a beach. <laughs> Laying around naked. <laughs> he made a sand girl. <laughs> what about in an elevator? Ever do it there? No. So you're not really, you've never done anything really dangerous. Well, you know, that's just so cliche. That's not mm. dangerous yeah, in you, an elevator. You would do it with me in an you elevator. You in the Mile High Club? You ever do it on a plane? <laughs> uh, yes. Vaguely, yes. vaguely on the, you know, almost. Oh, so you serviced a guy on a plane? Ah, I don't oh service my. people. <laughs> all First right, take it all. easy. Does everyone calm down? <laughs> okay, all right, all right. <laughs> hey, a publicist just jumped out the window. <laughs> what a guy.
<laughs> all right, listen. First of all, she's a woman. Oh, really? Leslie Sloan, I called her. Oh, Sloan. Leslie, you have. She's yeah. very talented. Very yes. good. I like Leslie Sloan. <laughs> Yasmin, what is it, uh, Fafa Fuhai? Actually, she's here with her publicist and her best friend, who are also like very good looking. Oh, like, really? Good looking and click. Let's all right, let, yeah, as long but before I say goodbye, let me see the click. Yes, come on. Come on, my entourage. All right, let me see who you travel with. Come on, this is Leslie Sloan, my publicist, and Betsy Goldstein, my best friend from high school. Oh, really? Yes. A Jew. Oh. Well, you know. Hmm, surprising. surprising. I had you pegged for an anti-Semite. Uh, Very funny. A racist and an anti-Semite. Yes, I did, yeah. since you wanted to date Prince. That's your real nose or a nose job? I this don't have anything plastique on Oh, my. look at the troop. Look at I the troop. Oh, here we go. Let me guess who's who. Okay. Lady in the green outfit's the publicist. Yes! Les Le Leslie yeah, from PMK, our new friends. <laughs> nice no, body. Be on nice you. To her. How'd I do? You're going to ban me again for another 20 years? Uh, <laughs> and and uh, who's it? Goldstein. Oh, Betsy. Very nice. I know. I used to beg girls like you to sleep with me. You wouldn't. <laughs> Either one of you. Oh, no kidding. You guys are best friends. You an actress too? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What show we? Baywatch. No? No. Well, what have we seen you in? School oh, play. Oh, the, she can't Sorry, do What have we seen you in? You been in anything? Um, actually, I'm shooting a movie right now. With who? Um, with me. <laughs> oh, by it's, yourself? Yeah, Howard, you should like this. It's called 1-900. It's about those 900 sex lines. Oh, is that no, right? No, it's, it's not about sex lines. It's about okay. party lines. Oh, no. party oh, lines. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Great. I'm so sorry. No, <laughs> let's no, let's no, get no. it together. A fine sorry. line there. <laughs> All right, listen. Now it's time for the part of the program when we say goodbye. Okay. If you feel inclined... You can hug me goodbye. If not, I understand. <laughs> I mean, if you're feeling turned off. The problem is, is that I have to jump over the desk to do this. Let me help you decide. Okay. I think for the following reasons you should hug me goodbye. All right, I love this. The pros and the My cons. My paperback's number two on the bestseller list. I thought it was number one. No, the book was number one. It just the, the paperback, paperback was just released. Out. Give all me right. a break. It's okay. going to be number one. It's going to be number one. It okay. just takes a second, all right? All right. I'm filming a major motion picture for Reicher Entertainment. And okay? uh, were you going to give me a part in that or not? Yes. You were? Okay. Yes, I am, but I need to see how you fit in my arms. Okay. <laughs> I had a whole big discussion with the movie people. Yes. I said, you know, one of my problems, like when I did the Gary Shanley show, I'm so damn tall, I don't even look like I'm in the frame. <laughs> she said, don't worry, we can work that out. Everyone get on a soapbox and, uh, you know, You should stuff. get David well, Everybody's going to be your height? What? Everybody's going to be your height? Yeah, I want everyone my height. <laughs> how tall are you? 5'5". Five, five. Oh, that's the right height. We're only we're only thirty seven inches apart. <laughs> <laughs> that's perfect. And um, I've single handedly made the E Network number one with my TV show. Okay. Credentials, girls. Impressive. Yes. All right. Very good. So. Um, and. And. That's it? Well, okay. Uh, my genitals are in line with your shoulder. Oh. <laughs> that's always convenient. That's right. And the highest rated Tonight Show ever, and the highest rated uh, a Letterman, even bigger than Madonna when I go on. Oh, really? Well, that did it. Come All here, right. baby. All right. No, no, no. You come to me. <laughs> come okay. here. Okay. Come here. Little. Take your headphones off. Oh, good. <laughs> here we go. I'll be hugging TV's Yasmeen Bleeth from Baywatch. Okay. Here we go. You have yourself all here, hold locked on. in here. Hold on. Ooh, what are you wearing? Sandals? I am. You See, I got get, a um, little skin showing. Mm, you got. Hey, can I rub your leg? <laughs> hey, seriously. No, 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 no. No, no. Here's no. all I want to do. Here's what I want to do. Oh, oh. I if it's all right with your publicist. It was a hug. No, no, no. I first, I want it. Wait, come here. Come here. Now, here now there's a negotiation. Oh, now the publicist is in on it. Now I'm ruined. <laughs> no, I'm saying, can I put my hand on your calf and rub it? Would that be a? Uh, I think that's pushing it. I think the Why? hug was good. Come on. Let's let's do the hug and, and, and see where it goes All right, from see there. see how you feel. Okay, come here, come here, here we come go. Here. Right. Just rub up and down. Oh, here we go. Just, I'm just so lonely. He feels good, ladies. <laughs> Don't I? Come on. I'm sorry, feel... Mrs. Stern. No, no. Mrs. Stern is dead. <laughs> Can I pull your bra strap? No. Oh, come on. No. Please, just let me just tug on. Absolutely not. Can I touch your leg? No, that's enough. I'm actually right, leaving. Why do you have right to now? act right. like Thank a junior you. high school kid? Because I'm never going to get anything off her otherwise. Can I pull your bra strap? She didn't invite you to do Baywatch. What? I was thinking about uh, that. I, if I could do a love scene with uh, full frontal nudity, I mean, I would do it. <laughs> I would do a love scene. Now, i got to say my love scene for the movie. That's what people want to see. You it's can't do love scenes anywhere else. And the funny thing no. is there are no love scenes on Baywatch. That's the sad thing. Everybody walks around in a thong, but there's no sex on the, the show. The coolest love scene I ever saw on Baywatch is um, when uh, Nicole was on it. She um, was being haunted by a ghost. Was this before breasts or after breasts? Uh, this was uh, during, after. This was during the breasts. During, okay, during the breasts. <laughs> she phase. had the big breasts, and she was laying on a chaise lounge outside a hotel on Baywatch, and right. a ghost was actually having sex with her. And she had to like moan and move around and stuff. It was really sexy. It was a double porter, and she almost jumped off the balcony in the end. Yeah, I wasn't that good? This episode. They it would have been good if she jumped episode. off the balcony. It's when David Charvet was um, basically pressuring her to live together. 
I missed it. Wait, I wait a second. To... David Charvel. Oh, oh, that's right. The boyfriend. Oh, I thought you were telling us something personal. No. <laughs> yeah, no I see. No, 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 no. It would have been good if she jumped out the window and then with her giant breast implant, she would have bounced back up into the hotel room. <laughs> into the standing <laughs> position. So yeah. Like flotation devices. <laughs> well, you know how with the show getting a little bit more serious. So Yasmin's got a very important CPR episode coming up. Oh. oh, yes. oh. Well, can I just say every episode's a very important CPR episode? <laughs> and you know what's always watch. funny about that? After there's an important CPR episode, there's always some like black kid in Harlem who watches it, mm -hmm. and then he goes out and does CPR on somebody and says, yeah, I saw that on Baywatch. Did you, you know guys read that article in the Post about the Australian kid who saved the rabbit? Did yeah. you read that? Yeah, I saw that. watching Baywatch? I know. He, his rabbit jumped in the pool and, and almost drowned, and he, and he performed CPR on his rabbit, and it worked. <laughs> I mean, Baywatch is providing a service, and it is the most popular show in the world. It is. Believe that? In yeah. the history of television. Well, congratulations on being Thank on the you. show. You deserve it. Believe me. Thank you. Believe me, you do. You're some actress. <laughs> The way you were hugging me and almost looking like you enjoyed it, I'm telling you, you're good. <laughs> My grandma's gonna kill me, first of all. You know, Aunt B and Aunt Faye in Florida, they're gonna have a fit. Pompano Beach over there. You, you hang yourself every single time now, oh, don't you? I tried to get out of it. What oh, was I yeah. supposed to do? You're no comment. <laughs> Let me tell you more. I was not undressing. I was not undressing. I'm just giving them your diary. I didn't, I didn't. Dan's called in and spilled the beans. I guess they read the star a lot. Is that how yes, they did it? I thought you did like some quick research. No, no, no. Somebody just calls in and says, oh, I know who it is. And then I write it down and we throw it at you and you tell us whether it's true or not. Very nice to meet you. Good luck with your movie. Thanks. I'll, I'll see you in a couple of days. You and good luck with the next season of Baywatch. Thank, Thank you very much for Thank coming you. in. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for having Bye. us. Bye. Bye, Howard. <laughs>